I would measure someone's, I would see someone's uh, discipline by how they handle their money. Uh, somebody who would take a date to take me to Java. If you took a date to take me to Java, I, I, think, I would think that this is a careless person. Welcome to Ross Salwa, where we are about vulnerability, vulnerability acceptance, acceptance and hope. We continue with our discussion on money. We are talking about money, 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 money in marriage, mm -hmm. money in uh, relationships. As you date and you plan to get married, the perspective of money. And now this episode, we want to talk about debt. Debt. Wow. Debt. You. What was Fuliza? Mshwari. Uh, Elon, Tala. Shule, help loan, Tala. Help. Tala. So you're getting to married to someone who has a debt or who has a loan. So what is your perspective on it? Um, one, I personally fear debts. So uh, my perspective on <laughs> debts uh, is as much as is possible uh, when you get into... Me debt, I'm in debt. Madeni, yeah, debt. No. Oh. <laughs> but, but, but the reality is that um, um, date is, uh, a date is actually a limitation uh, if you think about it. Uh, of course, I'm not an, a financial expert uh, where I would then go into details of uh, a good date versus a bad date, whatever it, uh, that is. But when we come together, I should be able to accept you as you are. Uh, if you have debts, uh, as long as I know, before we get together, uh, I shouldn't be surprised that you you had a loan of uh, some millions somewhere and I didn't know when we are now in marriage that is when I, I'm getting to know. Because that is an element of dishonesty to me. Uh, I think a uh, let us know where you stand. I, I, we don't have experience on this. None of us had debt when we were getting married. So we don't know how it works. Uh, it's just we are trying to facilitate the conversation. So probably we, your perspective of debt. Uh, let us know what is your perspective of getting married to someone who has debt. Uh, none of us had debt when we were getting married. Uh, but of course we have gotten debt together when, yeah. we, are, when we are in marriage. But me, I'm thinking, uh, my, my perspective would be, uh, if you have debt, what kind of debt is it? I would want to know what kind of debt. Uh, because in my perspective, I think there are some unnecessary debts. Uh, don't tell me that you, you, you got into debt, you asked, you borrowed money or emshwari or fuliza to take me out for debt that I didn't ask for. You did that to please me. But if the debt we are talking about that I'm finding you with is help debt, a debt that you use to self-develop or to do something reasonable or to do an investment. Let's say it like a circle loan or something like that. I have no problem with that. Because money matters. I think I would measure someone's, I would see someone's uh, discipline by how they handle their money. Uh, somebody who would take a debt to take me to Java. If you took a debt to take me to Java, I I, I think I would think that this is a careless person. Uh, but uh, what do you do with this debt that we are talking about? Me, I would want to understand. Yes, you have debt. What nature of debt and why did you take the debt? And how is that debt, how did it benefit you? And how is it going to benefit us together? See debt that you need to a debt for Of course, of course, uh, there are <laughs> stupid debts if I'm... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm allowed to, to say that uh, where you, you, you get a debt so that you go on vacation, uh, something that you can actually do without, uh, you don't have to get into debt for you to do such a thing. Uh, you can stay without vacation and free from debt. Mm -hmm. So in such um, cases where somebody has done, uh, has gotten into debt for things that are not necessary, a baby mzigoyake. Uh, but so would you would you stop marrying them because they have a? Um, would you break the engagement or what? 
one, I would, because you see that, that is not just an issue of money. It's actually, for me, an issue of values. And for me, what is important uh, in, in relationships, how you relate with others, is actually the values that you hold. And if you can get into date to do things that are unnecessary, they are not important, it speaks something about your values. And so in such a way, I would even go ahead and say, uh, maybe you sort out um, your debt situation, <laughs> and then we can uh, pick it up from there. Because I would want to get into a relationship, into marriage with somebody who is in debt, but the debt has had a positive impact, impact on their lives. Like somebody who takes a loan to go for vacation. Somebody who lives beyond their means. I think that is necessarily what we, we are trying to say. You don't want to be entangled with somebody who lives, they don't live real life. Uh, and, and, they, and actually, it's, 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 this person most likely is not about to change on that because it's a value system. It's a worldview that they have already developed. I want this, I really want it, even if I don't have the means to get it, I'll do anything, including uh, getting into debt so that I have this. Uh, and, and that is an issue of the value system. And so for me, uh, such a person, no. If my girlfriend told me that I got into debt, uh, I have the help loans board, uh, uh, the, the, the help loan, I, I would say, well, uh, that, that's okay, because that was used to develop you, to make you a better person. But if you told me, I got into debt because I saw this new dress in town and I, I badly needed it. I saw a phone. I got into debt because of a phone. I, I'm thinking that's not necessary. Uh, yeah, so what we are saying is money has, money reveals people. Money yes. reveals people. And how people, people's attachment to money and things uh, can easily tell you where they are at. For example, you are dating someone, either the guy or the lady, and one of you really pu is pushing for a big wedding. Mm. A big wedding, and they, they are even willing to take a loan to do this wedding. And I know wedding is very important for, uh, for all of us because you're thinking, this is the only day that I get to make decisions for myself. Uh, you don't have to make decisions for yourself by accumulating a debt. You're starting your marriage with a debt. Yeah. Or you want to... You know, I want to be to belong in a certain, certain class, class yeah. of people, so I will live in a place where these people live. Like we move from where we live and go to live in Kileleshwa or go to live in Kitusuru. Definitely, we cannot afford. So that's where issues of mistrust, uh, yeah. stealing comes in, issues of corruption, conmanship. Because I'm trying to sustain a life, a life. that I cannot. Uh, that I cannot keep up with. Yeah. I want because our our age mates are buying, uh, buying houses. houses. We also want to buy houses yeah, house. because our age mates are doing this, and we live. It's it's a competition and comparison with others. Yes, uh, and that again, it's value system. If you have wrong values, how you view money, what you think money is for, uh, is it a tool to uh, level up with others? Or is it a tool to facilitate life? So then, uh, your value system is what is important for me. Yeah. So. So debts, debts, good debts and bad, bad debts. debts. You can have debt that helps you invest, invest in yourself, uh, that builds you, yeah. but not a debt that keeps you at par with the society, society. at par with agents, at par with. Uh, that is a misplaced priority. If you are dating someone who fulizes to take you for a date, for a date please, yeah. and uh, you, you either, wrong relationship. yes, either a girl or whether you are the lady or the man in the relationship, I think talk about money. Talk about money. Live within your means. Uh, talk about what you can afford and what you cannot afford. Do not live under the pressure. You know. Uh, we we have a lot of pressure in society. Social media, if you went to Dubai, who went to Mombasa, who went to Naivasha, who went where, and so on and so forth. So it is important to live within your, your means. means and avoid life stress. And it's an, the value system there, I think the quality is an issue of contentment. 
Yes. Be contented with, with what, you, what have. you have and who you are. Mm. Don't live to the standards and to level up with your peers or the people that you relate to in the society. Yeah, but don't, uh, it's okay, be content but not satisfied. Work. Yes. Work you know, it's good to have know. goals. Yeah. Don't say, oh, yeah. me, I live on this cabbage sitter, I want to stay here forever. No, 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 no. Yeah. Be content that you are there at that moment, but strive moving forward, but not by all means. Personally, I want, I want, I want wealth, I want to be rich, I want money, but I don't want money by all means. Not by all means. Um, one of the things that I constantly ask God uh, to do is, Father, you know my needs, you know what I want. Um, I want, I pray that prayer in, in Proverbs that says, Father, give, don't give me too much that I forget you, or give me too little that I also become a disgrace to your kingdom. So I want much, I want wealth, but I tell God until my character is formed to handle that much, please God withhold it. And when my character is formed to handle that, now you can release it to me. Because when money comes, again as we alluded to, when money comes, the money money reveals the character of that person. I don't want to cause disgrace in the kingdom of God because I have received money. So as, uh, as you date, um, as you relate with the, the other person, be as real as possible. If you cannot afford to take the lady to Java, just say it. Don't go for Lisa or M. Copa or all those available mobile. <laughs> and, and nowadays there are so many of them available. Or even go betting. Or betting to, uh, to just get money to take this girl uh, for a date. Um, that is dishonesty. You're not real. And that is a value system that you're building, which will affect your marriage if you ever get there in marriage. So be real. Be honest, be content with who you are and what you have. So. And there's this, or this perspective of um, if a guy wants love, they should be able to pay for it. Uh, I think that's, that's a lie. That's a lie. Um, no one pays for love. I think the only love that is, of course, love is costly. <laughs> love is very costly. It cost Jesus to die on the cross for us to be here, to be loved. To understand what even love was so the the love is paid for by jesus we don't need to pay for any other love exactly so actually if it is if 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 your love is based on what you get from it then there is a problem because uh, uh, when that which you're getting <laughs> is taken away that means you will also go for example if you love a guy or you love a lady because she's able to give you money, pocket money, or uh, do shopping for you and all that, the day this person will actually be unable to do those things, and, and times comes, tables, I mean, they change. Tables change. Yeah. So that time, you will actually leave this person because what has been sustaining your relationship is no longer there. And on, t on tables changing, actually... Uh, there are people, uh, we have heard in the society that, especially with the ladies, that when you are getting to, I'm looking for a guy who is financially stable, who has a stable job and so on and so forth. Friends, tables change. You can get married to that person and then or a month after they lose that job. Then what happens? You are looking for financial stability. You, you see how um, fluid money can be. I mean, you, you're saying they have a job, they have a car, they have a what, they have a what. But then, for example, during this COVID season, there are people that have been sent home. So if you marry that guy because of money, definitely you love problems. Definitely you, you can't sustain. So dating someone or loving someone because of what they can have, uh, it, it holds no water. Uh, it's, 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 it is not sustainable. It's not sustainable. And then, even you as a guy, you just just be real. I mean, yeah. do not go hire your friends, uh, hire a car or borrow your friend's car to impress this lady that I have, you know, I have this and I have this. Um, I don't think all that a lady needs from a man is money. I don't think that. 
uh, there's more to that. Uh, and if, if, if you are broke and you want to date, also also have a vision. It's, it's not that you, you know I am broke and I want to be loved like that. Uh, be broke and have <laughs> some vision for Do your something. life. Do something. We want vision. We want leadership. We, we want vision and leadership and uh, somebody who can be able to submit to. If a man has no vision and no leadership, what do you submit to? So even as we know, and I know it's a big discussion about um, submission, but if you are broke as a guy or broke as a... Be honest, but also have a vision of how you're going to self-develop yourself. And uh, just thinking about uh, this whole idea that uh, I want to... Uh, get married to somebody who is financially stable. Financial security. Yes. Uh, I, I, I mean... Because at Wesley we can't keep love. Let's be honest. Um, how many of you peers, let's say, if you are at uh, the age of 24 to 27, how many in a hundred uh, young men, how many of them are financially stable? Um, Unless they genuinely have financial. genuinely, they have clean money. <laughs> yes. yes, clean money. <laughs> yeah, they have clean money. How many of them are stable? The way our society is structured, and even our education system, uh, you most guys would graduate at twenty three, and uh, then maybe you're looking for internship or attachment here and there, and, and, and those opportunities sometimes are very difficult to find, and even when you find it, it doesn't pay much. So somebody is just beginning up life and you want a person who is financially stable. Uh, in my view, uh, and as I look, scan through the society, most people who can actually confidently say they are financially stable are guys who are 45 years and above. People who have worked for some years. So if you are a young lady there and you want to marry somebody who is financially stable, most likely you'll get a sugar daddy or a sponsor as it were uh, but your age mates most likely they are not yet there if you want clean money secondly i want i would love like to... somebody who has not inherited and yes. they have not stolen yes they have worked through uh they have worked i want an inheritance and they they have not been involved in corruption it is the yes they are sweat. I think I think people should uh, uh, actually we should focus on building wealth together because then there is a sense of ownership uh, that both of you actually uh, have in the wealth that you accumulate as you grow together. But if you are uh, saying I want somebody who has already worked for me, uh, you will never have ownership over that money. Uh, and I know issue of ownership can be a hot issue in the society and uh, when we now we are married and uh, we get into debt um, and we are in debt already, already. <laughs> so debt in marriage uh, you get into financial debt and you're married uh, what is your view uh, one is um Date, what is this date for? I think that is the bottom line. What is this date for? Uh, we are getting into debt, we are getting a loan. What is it for? Is it to develop? Is it for investment? Or is it just for luxury? Uh, for me, my view in debt in marriage, we can get into debt. We can get a loan as a couple. But that loan should not be for luxurious living. Should not be for living in a place to prove a point. Should not be for buying a car, a luxurious car, uh, or doing any luxury. So for me, if we are getting into debt, how is that debt going to build us as the sun was? How is it going to build us? So not a debt to go and enjoy short-lived. Uh, let me get in a debt, at a, even if I will be feel the pain of paying it, I have something to look at and say, I took a loan to pay school fees. Uh, or I took a loan to buy land, buy land. or I took a loan to build a, house. to build a house, not I took a loan to go to Dubai with my family, I took a loan to buy clothes or to, you know, yeah. Just live within, even in marriage, in try and live within your means. 
and 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 I think also the uh, one of the important issues about date is actually honesty um, and and having an agreement as a couple that uh, uh, this. Uh, we will get into this debt, we will borrow this amount of money and this amount of money will actually do A, B, C, D. Uh, note that uh, as a husband, I want to, to do some secret investment so I get into debt because I am investing in some things that my wife doesn't know. Um, and you know, this life we never know <laughs> when <laughs> we will exit this world. So some people have got into such behavior and they have died and their family don't know that they actually were investing in some other place. So again, uh, if you started your relationship by being real and honest, that value system again should be transferred and continue uh, to be experienced in your marriage relationship. So that if I am thinking about borrowing money from a circle or a bank, um, I should be, before I do it, I should be able to discuss with my wife uh, so that we all are on the same page. And uh, because there is no my money and her money. Every money that comes our way is God's money and whatever happens with that money is going to affect all of us. So honesty, honesty, before a date is uh, uh, you borrow, Speak about it, talk about it with one another, and agree. Don't just go ahead and uh, do your thing, but agree. And when you agree, then you move together. Because the consequences of the date, <laughs> they face all of us and we experience it. Thank you so much for being part of the Rosara. We are about, where we are about vulnerability, acceptance, Sometimes and hope. hope. Uh, we thank you for subscribing, thank you for sharing, uh, thank you for commenting, thank you for encouraging us, uh, thank you for even asking us to talk about issues that we are not comfortable talking to about, but they have helped us, they have helped us to grow. Thank you so much and God bless you. God bless you. <laughs>